finally, another one arrived. And you're going to say, why is the box so small? Well, it's not the usual kind of box opening. It is. Um, I was doing a little cleaning because it's, you know, sort of uh, beginning of the year. You want to have to go through. And I happened to find a kit that I had. And I thought, you know, I'd really like to have this made. So I went online and found Kim and her, uh, she has a painting service called Reflections of Grace. And I contacted her and said I had a reborn kit and would she paint it for me? And I sent it to her and now it's here. And again, it's just going to be the kit. I will have to put it together. I'm so excited. Why did I get to see it? Finally, finally, finally. Hi. Oh my goodness, she, she hid every little part inside. Oh, how nice. She's very easy to work with. And um, uh, it's really nice to, well, should I start with the head now? I won't start with the head. I think it's a hand. So if you send your kit in to be painted, you have to send it in as a kit. So you're just going to send it in limbs. Oh, oh, it's done so nicely. Oh, it has a little tiny manicured fingernails done there. Well, wow. oh, so cute. It has molting in it, very nice and light. Oh, look at that. Oh, very nice through there. Oh, oh, very nice. Can you guess who this is? I like that. Look at that. That's, this hand should give it away. Who that is. Oh, it's done so nicely. Look at all those wrinkles. Okay, let's get to the feet. Here's one. Oh, nice bent leg. And a full leg. Oh. Kim did such a nice job. Very nice. I'm going to put this one down. <laughs> this one has a nice little chubby chubby wrinkles in it. Oh, look at that knee. <laughs> oh, that's great. I hope you can see this because it really looks nice. She did a nice job. And what's nice about a painting service is it no, in no way does it um, cost the same amount as you would if you were buying a reborn. So I'm really excited that I was able to get this done far less. Oh, it's coming. Huh? Oh, there he is. So cute. So cute. You can't get it? Can you get it now? Okay. So cute. I'm going to show you the top of the head. Very, very interesting. A little bit there. Very nice. Very cute. Wow. It's Franklin. What I'm going to show you next is I'm going to put them together. And then you're going to see what it's like together. So I'm going to stop here. Okay, I just wanted to give you a little peeky because Franklin's starting to be assembled. I went ahead and I put the legs on the body and I added some weight and fluff. And it's just coming along. It's so cute. I just wanted to show you what was happening sort of behind the scenes. 
so cute. I'm going to stop the camera again and then I'm going to restart and see where we at from there. Okay, another little peeky. Since uh, I was starting to put uh, Franklin together, I thought I'd put together his pacifier. Put his pacifier on for him. So cute. And I have to let it set up while it's drying. What I do is I just hold the magnet on the face. I put glue on the magnet and it'll just plop right into place when you turn the head. It'll just fall and attach to the pacifier. Don't remove the pacifier until it's completely dry. I have no glue on the mouth on the front. It's from the inside. Here we go. We can stop here and I'll restart. Okay, time for another sneak peek. I decided to put the arms on so you can see. Normally I put the limbs on first and then I stuff the body. For some reason I just put the legs on and then started stuffing the body and then put the arms on. But for me it doesn't really matter what order you put things in. It's just easier if the body is empty. But it worked out okay. I set them up and I added a top weight. I like adding two weights. One in the lower half and then one in the top half. Um, of course I use it the regular way. I put it in stockings and I use the glass, and I use the poly pellets, and then I use the fluff. And it's coming along nicely, and I am about to attach the head and want to stop and start. Well, here we have Franklin all put together. I didn't want this to be um, a video about how to put together a reborn. It, I wanted to show you that you can buy a kit and use a painting service and put together the baby yourself and you save tons of money and you get a great product when you're done and I just want to give you a little bit of a close-up if we could there so cute I didn't plan this but he has little stars in his onesie and he has little stars in his pacifier that was not planned at all it just happened that way I noticed it after I put it on him I thought oh look what I did but, um, yeah, using a painting service is great. I think she did a great job. It's very adorable. And you just have to be prepared about putting it together yourself. Be patient with yourself. The very first one that I put together took me about an hour to put together. But if you want to give yourself some breaks, you know, do a little of this, take a break, to come back to it, it really will pay off in the end and you'll be quite happy. Just make sure you get all your supplies together and make sure you don't have anything missing and only use items that you're supposed to use inside. Don't try to save money by actually using like real beans or rice. Don't use anything that you can eat. Only use uh, poly pellets and ground glass and put it together. This, uh, it's turns out really wonderful in the end. I'm very, very happy. And again, the painting service I used for Franklin was Reflections of Grace by Kim. I got her permission to reveal who painted Franklin. He's so cute. Just love him. 